Good morning everybody and welcome on into another video here today on the channel where we've got a white background, we're back in the real world and I have some very strange things to share from you. Now if you've been paying really close attention to my hauls over the last couple of months you know I've been getting pieces for a strange project that I haven't been talking about and um here they are. <laughs> I hate them and love them at the same time. <laughs> so, um, these are official sets. <laughs> I can't believe I had to say that. Um, I didn't make these. These are real sets according to Brick Set. And the moment I set eyes on them, I knew I had to have them. So in my Bricklin calls over the last year, I have been collecting pieces for these monstrosities. And um, we're going to talk through them today. <laughs> so, for reference, these are sets uh, 2873, 2874... 2876 and 2877 are aptly named Christmas set, Christmas set, Christmas set and Snowman and these are 1997 basic sets that are Christmas multi-build multi poly bags um, that I believe were released as part of an advent calendar but also sold separately as gift with purchases in a country in the east. Now why do I love them? Because look how stupid they are. It's a man dressed as a tree. I love it. <laughs> um, this really does fit with like the cursed kind of stuff that I love. And um, I think they actually, to be honest, remind me of Mixels and um, that sort of curse, to be honest. Anyway, we're going to take a look at them one by one. We're going to talk through the alternate builds and I'm going to express my cursed, Chris creepy Christmas love for these guys and um, what makes them so special. And obviously the fact that you've never heard of them. So I'm sharing something new today. So I think we're going to start with 2873, the Santa. And um, he's as square and as derpy looking as you might think. So the only exclusive part, well, not even exclusive, the only parts of these guys that are worth his note is this um, one by two yellow brick with the face print. And those are the ones that mostly I had to get from Bricklink. The rest of the pieces um, I pretty much had or ordered just because I didn't want to like rip it out of somewhere else. So he's a really simple build. He's got an inverted slope, his beard, his face, and then a little pointy red hat. And he looks more like a gnome than anything. He's got a plate as his feet. And if you take a look at the poly bags on brick, uh, brick set even, you can see that he actually has a rebuildable option. If I move some bits around here, uh, that looks just different. And it, it's rather strange. These things are like three in ones, but not. And I find it really, really, really strange because they're not any good. Um, the other interesting thing to note, not particularly about this one, is the um, the snowman. The other three exist on Brick Brick Link, and you can actually like buy them if anyone was selling them, which no one does because the poly bag is pretty much exclusive and impossible to get. Um, but the the snowman is just isn't on Brick Link at all, but. Uh, the other three are, and the snowman is on brick set. So all of these are logged in my collection, and I consider them worth it. Here's our second little build. Uh, he's a little man, I guess. They just all look so creepy. The, to be fair, the um, the main build, so the Santa of this, is, is definitely the best one. But I find in particular that with these kind of sets, I don't really care. They just all look so stupid that it's brilliant. <laughs> so going into our third build, um, what are we going to get as a nightmare this time? Um, they they mostly use all of the pieces, although I think this one's going to break that tradition. I suppose what can you do when you've only got nine pieces? A nine piece set. I do love them, though. They're just creepy. I mean, like, what is this? <laughs> it's just a man with a hat. Oh dear. Right, we'll leave him to the side. Um, that's our first one. Let's move on to 3874, the um, what I assume is an angel. It's sort of unclear. This is just called Christmas set. And he looks in a much nicer medium azure on the packaging, but he's actually just blue. And um, I'm going to go with angel, but it's an angel with hair and arms. He's sort of just in like a crucifix T-pose. And then he's got like a little feet big feet at the bottom and he's using the exact same face print and on to be honest this is my least favorite of the three because it actually makes the most sense and that is upsetting to me <laughs> um but besides that he's still really really cool and he does really fit with the collection like the fact that all their colors are just so weird that um it all just works and i love it <laughs> so um 
what in particular drove me to buy them, I suppose, is a question that I should answer. And that is definitely going to come down to their, their look. The fact it was it was mostly the Christmas tree, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, here's our second build, another man in a hat. Why, why are there so many men in hats? <laughs> it's like they've run out of ideas or something. Anyway, um, yeah, the, to be honest, it was the tree. The idea of having a Lego character who was just a guy dressed as a tree really entertained me and I just found myself laughing at it. So I added it to my wanted list as a joke and I was on Bricklink making an order and I was disappointed with the pieces I was ordering going, well, this isn't very exciting. Is there a quick build I can do to add a set to my collection and make it a bit more fun? And I was scrolling back through my extended wanted list on my second Brickset account when I discovered um, that I remembered the Christmas tree and I was like, you know, why not? It's nine pieces, we can, um, we can do that. What is this? What, have I built it wrong? Oh, I built it wrong. Um, and I just, yeah, and, I, and when I discovered these, I, I just bought a tree, and then I loved the tree so much that I went back and got the whole collection in the second order as more of like a joke, and I wanted the full set, but the tree was the entire inspiration, and here's our second build for our angel. <laughs> um, is it a duck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, I'm really not quite sure, to be honest. Okay, right, let's move on to a tree. Let's move you out of the way bring over my favourite. So as I said, this is the original one that inspired it. It's literally a Christmas tree with a person's face on it, which I do love, but at the same time, look how cursed it is. He's so creepy, but so lovable. They remind me of Mixels because they're three in ones and they just look so stupid that I just love, ugh, I don't know why more people don't talk about them because they're the exemplary form of basic basic sets, to be honest. Like uh, if you've heard of the basic set of lines, they're, they're pretty rubbish really, but um, these are amazing. Like, this is peak humanity. Like, whoever invented these deserves, like, the Nobel Peace Prize for, like, stopping war. Because I imagine that these guys do stop war with the fear in their souls. <laughs> I love making these videos. These are so funny. Okay, so this is another tree lady. This one looks more like a lady to me. The other one just kind of looks like a child, like a dumpling child. But this guy, this is a, this is a girl. This is very clearly, like, a seven-year-old dressed as a tree, in my opinion. Not that you can really tell. And um, let's move on to our third build here, which is another duck by the looks of it. <laughs> um, but no, these are incredible peak humanity. You know I love my tiny men. I've been collecting the Mario characters. I've been, I've got all the Mixels, you know. I, I just love tiny things like this and they're so cute. My, my next goal has got to be the fruit. I have so got to get the, the, the full line of those poly bags from like the mid early 2000s, which were just every fruit under the sun. There's just like a pear and the rest of it. And it's just so funny to me. It, I don't know why it's so funny to me. <laughs> They're just the dumb sets have um, attracted my attention and um, now I can't stop. So every Bricklink order from now on, expect something like this. And this one's actually worse. Is this a dinosaur? Like what? <laughs> What is this? I, I mean, this is what I'm saying. Like, the, the tree people are definitely the best. Like, hands down. Uh, like, the actual original forms where it's, like, Derpy Guy in Angel Costume, Derpy Guy in Santa Costume, Derpy Guy in Tree and Derpy, Derpy Snowman are just the best. But, like, this is, like, what is this? <laughs> so, this is a set that keeps on giving. You have three builds for each of them, and they just keep getting worse. And then we have... <laughs> This man, oh, he's so round. <laughs> he's like a giant snowball. I, I can't, he's my second favourite just because of how stupid he is. I love them. They're just so cute and yet so ridiculous at the same time. They're, they're the best thing we've created as a species. Anyway, let's move on. We've got some interesting builds again for this guy. Um, I, I don't know, I just had to share them because I've never seen anyone talk about them. According to Brickset, only 52 people own this snowman and he deserves a bigger fan base. He deserves love <laughs> and care and attention. Hashtag bring back the Lego snowman in this form. Um, I'm building him wrong. So we're building the last of the alternate, uh, well, the last of um the last set of alternate builds really i mean i can't really call it the last alternate build because there's one more after this isn't there but um, i'm curious to see how this goes down like i'm expecting comments down below like telling me oh, i've never heard of these or um i want to buy them or i will cherish them and love them like a cult cult leader 
because that's the incredible like nature that they deserve. Right, so this is the <laughs> God. So we've ended up with two dinosaurs and two very strange looking men. <laughs> I mean, not that they weren't strange already, I mean, the original forms themselves are just atrocious, but uh, be assured they have got a place in my permanent Lego minifigure display stand. I wish that these were called official figures so that more people had to own them, um, but alas, they are not. <laughs> to, to be honest, I just wish that we had more of them in general, because they are our gods now. They are the best thing we've ever invented. Okay, move those out of the way. And then we have a speedboat. I love how we went from humans to dinosaurs to ducks and then just like a boat. <laughs> Inanimate boat. What a collection. I mean, 10 out of 10. I mean, um, go look up these sets, add them to your wanted list, give them some love. We do love this this kind of thing. They're just crazy and no one ever talks about them and I love them. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little history lesson as we come into December this year um, of my mini builds and their little information. And I think they're adorable. I really do love them as much as I've just called them creepy. I think they're like the original Mixels. They're the original like Mario character packs. They're the original everything. And Christmas Tree Man is just the peak of human physique. And I love him. So um, consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of stuff or let me know your thoughts down below in the comments leave a like for christmas tree man um <laughs> the ultimate person and you guys will be seeing these in my minifigure frames very very soon where they will sit for eternity scaring the life out of everybody and until next time bye bye